teacher welcome back again to my channel today's video is going to be quite different we're going to learn and entertain ourselves as well i'm going to be reacting to a few facts from this side called uber facts once upon a time i was always on this side literally almost every day learning so much but it's been a while since i checked them out and today i checked them out i'm like okay these would be some nice interesting facts to react to because some people don't know about some of these facts anyway if you're new to my channel my name is naya balin you're welcome to my channel yabby's own if you'd like to support the channel in your own little way you can go ahead and click the subscribe button if you like what i'm pushing out there you can like it and leave a comment as well so without further ado let's just get right into the video So the very first fact says that due to their promiscuous nature, ladybugs have some of the highest rates of STDs among insects. Wow, who would have thought? Now, what kind of STDs do <laughs> these ladybugs have? Like, isn't it enough for humans to be having STDs now? <laughs> ladybugs have STDs as well. Wow. Now the next one says goodbye comes from the term goodbye. Goodbye. A contraction of the phrase God be with ye. Oh, so God and B B W with Y E G. God be with. <laughs> good boy. Okay, so I think at the end of this video, I'm going to say good boy, lovely people. <laughs> yeah, so that's one interesting fact we did not know until now. Okay, at least for me. Mosquitoes are the only creatures responsible for the deaths of more humans than humans themselves. Yes, facts. Aside from accidents, random. I think that's right because a lot of people are dying from malaria, elephantiasis and mosquito induced diseases especially in Africa and other tropical areas as well. Now the next one says if you try to hold a sneeze you can injure your diaphragm, bruise your eye, <laughs> rupture an eardrum or even bust a blood vessel in your brain. I think that's true. Have you ever had have you ever had to hold a sneeze before like especially in these times even when you go Ugh! everybody just and there was these, this meme flying around that in the past when you sneeze, people are like, oh, bless you, bless you. But now when you sneeze, people are like, oh. <laughs> run for it. Or the Naruto run. <laughs> so, so no matter what, you're just trying not to hold your sneeze in. I've tried, I've actually held my sneeze in a couple of times and it really was uncomfortable. Like, you feel so much pressure on it. No, don't do it. Don't, don't, don't do it. The ideal angle for pooping is really beautiful. The ideal angle for pooping is 22.5 degrees. The angle should be formed by your thighs and, abnorm and abdominals. Mm. So that reminds me, even till date, in some very rural areas, I think they're actually practicing and using the very right angle for pooping, where you have these pits which, which are dug in, in a nice, in a simple, shabby construction, and you actually squat over it. So I think that is actually the very good angle for pooping. Because you realize that with these um, modern toilet facilities, sometimes you sit on it and you even get, um, is it a muzzle pull? I forgot how they say it, but you feel some pressure on your legs from sitting and it's very wrong. And I've also seen some pictures which show how the rectum looks like when we sit on the toilet and it's actually counteractive to what we are actually trying to attain. Anyway, 63 earths could fit inside Uranus. <laughs> I took it again, I took it again. Clear your mind. Yes, I we're just talking about pooping and all of that, but clear your mind. It says 63 Earths could fit inside Uranus, the planet. Mm, okay, then that makes us quite large, 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 large. Okay, so this one says, your brain begins to feed on its own neurons when it does not get enough sleep. Makes sense. You know, sometimes you get headaches, migraines when you're not sleeping well. So it's very important to sleep. Whether you like it or not, you would have to sleep at a point in time. And if you go without sleep for long, you can have adverse effects on your health and your productivity and your general outlook in life. You'll be gradgy and so... Like a bad mood generally, so try to get enough rest, okay? It's very important. And a survey of 68,000 women from 180 countries, 89, 88.9% said the kindness... Take it again. In the survey of 68,000 women from 180 countries, 88.9% said that kindness is the most important trait when it comes to choosing a partner. <laughs> very true, very true. And I think kindness is like broad and it has so many sub attributes attached to it so when the person is kind it's very likely the person is going to be generous the person is going to be caring the person is going to be loving and it all goes down like so i think kind kindness is more like a broad umbrella and so many other things fit into it socrates thought plato 
So Chris is taught Plato, Plato taught Aristotle, and then Aristotle taught Alexander the Great, and so many other philosophers were born here. Yeah. I remember I took a philosophy class back in my undergrad studies, and I keep remembering, I still used to this day, it's cogito ego sum. Hmm. And the evil genius argument and all of that. And this was an argument which was trying to test our existence as human beings that what if everything that was happening was a dream okay like cogito ego sum i think therefore i am and then the conclusion of the argument is that if everything that is happening is even a dream then there has to be someone who is thinking it out and is playing out so definitely that person has to exist so all this thought process and everything proves the existence of someone so once you think alone you exist it was quite a very interesting class i had but sometimes you got very technical and all that stuff but overall i enjoyed it Striking up a conversation with a stranger can help improve your mood according to a study from the University of British Columbia. The average adult thinks about sex eight times a day according to a 2019 survey. I guess I'm not average at all. <laughs> if the sun were to explode right now, we wouldn't know it for another eight minutes, 20 seconds. <gasps> so what if the sun had ex has exploded eight minutes, 19 seconds ago? <gasps> So that's for you to know. Your thumb is about the same length as your nose. This is my thumb. My nose. That's right. And you know, I know the thumb is also used as measurement for other things. Can you guess what those are? Leave it in the comment section below. Thanks guys. Next one says what? Looking at pictures and videos of cute animals for 30 minutes can relieve stress and anxiety according to uni a university of Leeds study. Yes, I think that's also the same as maybe having a pet and looking at and taking care of a pet. I don't know but yeah sometimes it, it's very therapeutic when I see these cute cute animal videos where they groom groom animals and very cute poodles and small dogs and just taking their showers bathing them combing their fur and shaping their fur oh it looks so lovely like i understand i agree so once you relieve some stress and anxiety you can watch animals Clazomaniac, a person who cannot speak without shouting <laughs> i think some african parents are clazomania <laughs> Anyway, so if you cannot speak without shouting, then you're a clazomaniac. Or you're a clazomaniac. <laughs> dogs can recognize their owners are being treated rudely and may snub the person. Okay, so dogs hold grudges. So like, you can't talk to me if you ain't talking to my owner. You can't be my friend if you ain't friend with my baby. You can't be my friend if you ain't friend with my homie. We ain't homies. Whoop, 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 whoop. When written in English, every number shares a letter with its neighboring number. One shares O with two, which shares a T with three, and so on forever. Okay, so let's continue till like six. So three shares what with four? Okay, three shares an R with four. Four shares an F with five. Five shares an I with six. Six shares an S with seven. Seven shares an E with eight. It shares an I with nine and also an E and then 10 shares a nine E. Okay, great. Good job for discovering this. Humans can't walk in a straight line without a visual reference. When blindfolded, we gradually walk in a circle. Let me see if I can try it. But I don't think my room is big enough for that, so. When blindfolded, so I'm going to be blindfolded. No, I don't want to miss my... I don't want to miss my makeup after I'm going to close my eyes and walk. not really working because I think I'm so conscious of my of my environment and I know where I am and where things are in my room so maybe when I go outdoors and the final thing we're going to talk about for today is nearly 80% of an elephant's day is spent eating <laughs> so that means if they should tell you eat like an elephant that is quite a this is it is it a this or it's not a this Anyway, so that's it ladies and gentlemen. These are some interesting uber facts I shared with you today. What are some of the facts you enjoy the most? Okay, the facts I enjoy the most of which were news to me would be that your thumb is about the same length as your nose and the fact that ladybugs are quite promiscuous and they have <laughs> some of the highest rate of STDs in the insect world. I hope you enjoyed this video. Kindly like, comment, share, subscribe and let me know what kind of reactions you like me to react to in my coming videos. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you all the very best. Bye. Bye, ciao, ciao. Bye.